What's quite strange is that the weather today is exactly like it was in, in 89. Normally at that time of year, it's a little bit uh, still raining and so on. But it was really such a clear day, sort of heading towards Sheffield at that time. On Monday is the 30th anniversary of the, the Hillsborough disaster. And it, it's a disaster where 96 people lost their lives. And for those people in the city, it's, it's a really poignant day because they try to remember what those people might have achieved. And they've come through the barriers, and I can only think that's overcrowding. It doesn't look to me to be any sort of misbehaviour. More police are being called for. Reinforcements are coming from the forest end now. I had two lo lower Leppings Lane end uh, tickets for me and my nephews and one upper. And the guy at the ticket office had swapped because he needed exactly the opposite. We'd swap tickets. And so I was able to, to go upstairs out of the crush. But unfortunately, Ian, who we're going to meet very shortly, um, was right in the centre of that. You all right? Hi, Ian. Lovely. Nice to meet you. Uh, there was a man in front of me. He was quite in a bad way. Big lad. He went. He he he, he, could, he fainted. And he couldn't. He, I was stuck. I couldn't get him up. Um, so he went down. And then my leg got caught around a barrier. See, so at the barriers, my leg got caught around. So I had to slip me me training shoe off to get out. And a gap opened. And I went over the over the fence. Pulled over by a policewoman. Yeah. And then after that, um, I've lost it then. I sort of remember looking at people in the six-yard box, um, thinking, you know, they had coats over their heads. And I'm like, this can't, you know, are they, are they dead? You know, it was like other supporters trying to help this lad, a young lad, really young boy. I don't know what happened to him, like, I don't know what happened. People supported each other. They supported the families, that, that's for sure. Um, because it's been a long road for them for 30 years now, they, they've had no justice whatsoever. They've had accusations thrown at them, as well as the city. And it's a very close community, Liverpool, in a strange way. As a city, we, we stick together, you know, we, we, we defend each other. By being together, we can pull through anything.